Hey, what's going on everybody? Tone here and welcome back to another Cogmine session. I believe when we last left off, we just gained branch access intel from this terminal, which means we know where all the exits are to all the branches that are accessible from this floor. We can go to the lower caves. Those will lead us eventually to the data miner, which I love having the data miner alliance on a build like this. Slow combat builds, um, the data miner goes a long way. It'll open doors for you. So if you don't have good hackware, which you probably won't on a build like that, it becomes uh, pretty helpful. And you'll also recall assaults, um, which can really help manage alert. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it, it can uh, make a quite a difference. But we are going for the... Uh, the probably a little bit riskier actually i'll call it the high risk high reward route we're going to go to extension i actually don't know if our build will fare terribly well at the moment um, but we might pick up some pieces on the way data miner and extension work really well together if you can get both of them um, data miner is going to be on either minus seven or minus six every game and extension will be on either minus six five or four every game so usually unless they both overlap on six like they did for us you get the option of both um, and going data miner and then extension helps a lot and you'll see why but basically there's a lot of doors to open um they help a lot in extension and we're gonna go there anyways though and we'll just we're just gonna wing it i would really like some em i have two em weapons equipped so maybe we'll take those off just so we can save them because we may May need those pretty badly um, here shortly. So let's uh, preserve those. We're gonna uh, move on. What a. Alright, we're not getting any more use out of that. We were almost traced 80%. We had extension all the way down here and all the way over here. And neither of them are particularly close. I'm sorry, that's the lower caves. Extension is up here. We can either go do right. down have more intel it looks like there's probably a relatively direct path on the way down we'll see what else we get on the way down there i'm going to avoid the shoots i don't think we have any great ways of dealing with uh, the shoot traps fortunately we do have trap intel which tells us um, the location of all of those and i'm considering digging this is too tile for or too far for a safe dig I have a feeling that we could find an emergency door over here. I don't know if it's worth the turns to, to search for one. So we're just going to go out into the corridor and come back. Um, so what do we want to equip right here? I'm going to go with my kinetic weapons. I have a barrage gun equipped. It's a gun, right? Go with this. Oh, heck. We got programmers already. Hmm. I don't know if we want to fight programmers out here. Probably don't have much of a choice. They are probably coming from a nearby garrison. We're just going to... Hmm, that's tough. Here, let's start walking this way. The hauler with two escorts. I don't know if we got hauler manifest intel. Oh, there's another Fabricator. We've been getting good value out of Fabricators on this floor. I'm almost curious to go over there. I don't know if we actually have any... Schematics we care about, but we had like this preloaded Smart Bomb launcher. Okay. And, like I said... <laughs> I thought there was probably an emergency access door here, and here we have a secret door. I, I just had a feeling. I don't know how much of that is luck, how much of that is map sense, but something about this told me that there was probably something here. But the geometry that we know from here and the way this room is. Check this out. I think this guy just came out of this fabricator. They sometimes randomly make um, enemies. What's kind of interesting about that, and I've actually used this effectively, is... These guys will go straight to a garrison. So if you're looking for a garrison, you can follow these guys. 
I don't know if we'll go to a shut down one. He might be walking up there. I have garrison intel. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. Oh, unless this, maybe he didn't come out of there. I wasn't paying attention because I was looking over on where I'm at. This might be another patrol coming in. But yeah, people do generate from these. And actually, my first game and my first time in factory, I was walking past one of these fabricators and a sentry popped up. The first fabricator I ever saw. I thought the entire purpose of these in the game was to like spawn enemies. <laughs> Which is pretty funny because it's far from what they're used for. Um, system backup module improved. That can cure our system corruption. If you'd like to have those around, 0.7% chance per, per turn to purge 1%. This is something that we can throw on like instead of our like armor while we're like just traveling around like we are. And since we're so slow, it does end up being quite effective. Advanced assault cannons. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of kinetic cannons. We got a huge minus salvage modifier on here, and I really, especially since we're relying on matter. Speaking of which, I should probably refill my matter. I'm gonna avoid the cannons. EM shield. 25% EM resistance. I don't really care about these. When you get 0.5 or the 0.75 EM resistant utilities, they're quite nice. I wonder if that would be better than armor, since we have treads giving us a lot of coverage um, for fighting the programmers. I don't think it's worth carrying around, though. I'm just going to avoid, ignore that for now. now. I don't think we're going to see programmers for a while if we're going to be diving into extension right now, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, I do need to drop something because I want to pick up the system backup module. And I have three sensors array, which is kind of insane for a combat build. I think it's because we just fabbed this one, so I can drop that. Do I have any other unnecessary crap in my inventory that we can drop? Ooh, I want more treads. We don't have many backups, do we? Keep that in mind. Train scanner and train scan processor. I guess we might carry those all the way to like research, minus three, which is probably when I would actually start using those. Keep that in mind. Makeshift salvage charting computer. Um, Gunslinger builds, those are quite nice. They add a ton of uh, positive salvage modifier. Hearing a lot of utilities, like just uh, kind of miscellaneous utilities um, for a combat build, but I think they can make a big difference. The component analysis suite, the system backup module. That was a uh, a patrol over there. I don't see the programmers yet. It's scary because I don't want to have to deal with them while we're fighting something else. Where's the programmer? Only one. I guess on minus six still we only get one. What we're going to do here is... We're just going to melt these guys with our thermal cannons. Where's my other thermal weapon? Beamcaster. Oh, it's just a gun. It's not a cannon, but still quite effective. And he got a free shot on us, which is not ideal. But I do have backup sensors, so we can take a slight risk like that. I'm not going to leave it on for all of combat. I should have probably picked this EM shield up just for this fight. I'm going to throw in some more armor, and then we're just going to shoot this guy. Again, they are uh, weak to thermal. The kinetic as well. Looks like I turned the barrage gun on. I think we'll be better just doing this, though. I probably have to watch my heat with this setup. Oh, great. We got random... Patrol coming in here. We're getting quite spicy right now. Put the heat sink back on. I need to wait a turn, probably. Let some heat dissipate. There we go. The rest of the squad should be coming in, which is not great. We're going to go straight back to our kinetic weaponry. <laughs> Absorbing a shot to my Gauss rifle as I equip it. 
Right, and I probably will have to drop my matter pot here in a second. Second explosion there. Sound like he made two explosions. I guess not. Yep, out of matter. Drop that matter pod. I have to wait a turn. Um, it only picks up at the when the turn passes. Ooh, this is not great. See, that programmer really screwed us up. I would have liked to take them in the doorway and not have to fight all three of these guys at once. This is actually very bad. Alright, we got two down. That ended up working out. Um, a little bit of variance in the fight, and that could have gone quite poorly. I knew there's a risk of that, but th those guys came all the way from over here. And then, like, right into our room. That's kind of crazy. Um, did, did we get, like, a... Investi I, don't, I don't even know where... It's almost like those guys are tracking me. That's just bad luck on our part, I think. Oh, hold up. One of them was... The escort from here? I don't really know what was going on. I kind of want to fight these guys to get their weapons. Some more Gauss rifles, I believe they would have. Um, we have to consider what kind of attrition we'd be taking in order to, to do that. I think it might be worthwhile. Gauss rifles are quite nice. While we're at it, God, I should probably start grabbing legs. We are almost at a prop and our treads are not looking too hot. Oh, there's a door right here. So they're in a room. I can come out and we're going to be fine. Um, so he's on a door, so the matter didn't drop there. It actually dropped in our tile, so we just got 126 matter for blowing up that recycler. Oh, I misjudged that door, apparently. Do we want to fight these guys? I think we do. I kind of do. There's another one down here. Maybe I ignore these guys for now. Shut this down and just go this way. Where is with the hauler? We didn't get any hauler manifest data, did we? Doesn't look like it. I don't think it's worth just randomly destroying a hauler. Uh, what happens is you'll get... Oh, perfect. Um, to finish my thought though, what happens when you destroy a hauler, um, if you attack them, outside of materials, it's safe to do it in materials, but once you enter factory and beyond, there's a chance that they will call for reinforcements. If you have their uh, transport net network coupler equipped and a transmission jammer, you block that, which is pretty interesting. Ooh, heavy armor plating. A little tight on slots for us, unless I ditch this hacking suite, which we may want to do here soon. I perhaps should have done already. I don't know how much more value we're going to get out of it. I was going to hold on to it as long as possible, but it's probably time to ditch. Uh, that could be a nice item for us. This is on a 76 integrity. Um, the heavy armor plating, it's two slots, but it's 300 coverage per slot, 600 total, um, which is better than the medium armor plating, 225, and the light armor, which is only like 150. Hunter Guidance Computer. But yeah, the we have a EM launcher, and this is exactly what I want for extension. We're gonna be grabbing that, and you guys will see why. That, that like makes the part of it easier. We're still gonna have trouble in the beginning, but part of what we want in extension is we wanna fight these tough guys and get their loot, because um, it's very good loot for this point in the game. It's decent loot for minus four, but when you get it as early as minus six, um, it's very nice. And they basically give us good treads, power, and weapons for the build we're using. And that's like really one of the big benefits of extension. They're called the Cetus Guard. Um, but launchers are a great way of dealing with them and um, getting their parts from them as well because it's EM damage. So we'll definitely be grabbing that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up drop this improved light armor plating. Light armor is not that great because it's low coverage. I'm not for a build like we have at least. Um, I think we should hold on to this still. I guess I need to free up two more slots if I want the heavy armor and this proton missile launcher. I first see us dropping these five items, long range train scanner, train scan processor, salvage charging computer, component analysis suite, and improved system backup module. I can see us dropping any of those five items at some point soon. I'm gonna get rid of this beam caster, it's not a very good weapon. 22 to 24 thermal damage versus the particle cannon. 25-25. Um, better heat somehow? Like I don't even understand why this is so much better. Minus 3 rating. Am I wrong? Is, is this... It's double the rating, but I feel like I like the heavy particle cannon better. It seems better in almost every way. Coverage isn't even that much higher. Shorter range and slightly heavier. Yeah, I, I'm gonna keep the rating six item or the rating three item over the rating six item. That is my decision. High power tractor beam. Is that how does that compare to our long range? We can probably ditch a tractor beam. I, I like them, but yeah, the long range is much better. That's why I'm carrying the long range. You can get those off of recyclers. I need to find room for this. Can't really afford to drop any weapons. Let's ditch the component analysis suite. And while I'm traveling around, we can take out this medium armor plating, the system backup module. The extension branch can go on for quite a while, so it'll be nice to be able to clear our corruption a bit. Hey, Watcher, All right, he's going that way. Hey, we already cleared one corruption. Smack that dude with our great axe. Uh, this guy's coming around the corner. We're weak to EM. Let's see if we can get a kill on this dude if he decides to come around. Hey, buddy. Nice. Those guys are just super annoying. Matter, keep going. Unknown ballistic gun. It is unknown because we forgot about it due to our corruption. Oh wow, we already cleared a second corruption. They normally are not that effective. I don't, it probably feels more effective because we're so slow. On flight, you'll move, well, like five is, um, Five times as many tiles in the same amount of time it makes us to takes us to move here, so it feels artificially slower, or it feels relatively slower. Let's find out what this gun is. Another fabricator. We're just like randomly walking across all of them. Black guns. Hmm. These are actually pretty sweet with the salvage uh, salvage charging computer. This gives it plus four salvage, and these shoot six shots. So it's a ton, a ton of positive salvage, because each shot adds that modifier. Do you want to take the flat gun over like the barrage gun or something? Oh dang, the barrage gun is five recoil. I'm mostly mitigated by our treads though. Treads are minus one per slot, so it's really only one recoil, which isn't that big of a deal. I'm not gonna bother with the flat gun, I don't think. I just walked around, I was curious about. Jammed. I was curious about trap doors again. Or secret doors, not trap ones. 
Uh, no schematic preloaded. Do we want anything? Is your right gun any good? Oh, this is another EM weapon. Hmm. Want more EM? Of course the answer is yes. I mean, I never really use the riot guns. How good are these? 8 to 13 damage times 2. How does that compare to, like, pulse cannons? It doesn't seem nearly as good in general. I'm just going to ignore that fabricator. We have your shoot traps again. Whoa. Dig in here. I wanted to avoid this group of guys. Light armor. We don't care about any of that armor. Nice. There, the rooms continue. We're down to zero corruption. This was very useful. Matter compressor. 250. Uh, that is slightly better than our high cap matter pod. So we're going to upgrade. Extracted all the matter out of that. We got an other angular momentum engine. Mine look. It's a, just a 13 more um, integrity. So I'll just grab that. Improved actuator arrays. Those are melee utilities. Cloaking device. Stealth util. Oh shoot. Where are these guys going? I'll wait here. I was afraid of going for this door and I'm so slow them opening it. I'd like to dodge this group if we can. Here. This is kind of crazy. Wow, look at our... Oh shoot. <laughs> okay, he didn't see us. That was some crazy stealth for a slow tread guy. Hey, look at that behemoth. I will steer clear of him. Is that extension? No. Over there. Cool. Do we have any more? Oh, here we go. I wonder if this is this guy's terminal. We should not stray too far from their terminal, so this could be it. Um, purge threat is probably quite nice. You know what? I, I, I'd like to make this guy an ally, so let's do, put an assimilation trojan on here. Ooh, that failure. Okay, I'm just gonna break it then. That is a shame. I think he would have been nice to have an extension. For the extra hack chance and for trap detection. That was his terminal. I could kill him. System shield. For what we're doing, which is like equipping one piece of hackware, I'd rather have a hacking suite what I was hoping for. Oh, I guess he might only have a system shield. I should have checked what he actually had. Weapon shielding. We're going to make use of that. Heavy machine gun. Um, this is definitely better than some of the stuff I'm carrying. Probably time to dish this barrage gun. I believe is the weakest mechanic weapon we have. You grab you. We want to make room for the weapon shielding. It's just medium armor plating. I'm gonna grab that. The weapon shielding is gonna help keep our EM weapons alive while I'm using them. Especially that launcher, which probably has pretty high coverage. Our shotgun might not be bad. Improved heavy armor plating. 
and 18 times 2. That's better than battle rifle, the precision rifle. We do like close to 40 damage if we hit twice, but it's minus 10 targeting. Negative salvage. Ooh, I don't like the salvage fire there. Otherwise, it's a solid weapon. I'm going to leave it. We need to fight this guy, I think. I don't want to approach him from the heavy machines. I mean, I can probably get to him from wherever this is. Otherwise, I'd come to the side. I don't want to have to have a firefight out here, though. Oh, we didn't grab the heavy armor plating. Is that better than the heavy armor I have now? I already have improved heavy armor. It's the exact same. Do I want a backup? I think the question or the answer to that is probably yes. I think we're going to uh, drop this train scanning. It's going to be a while before he get, get used out of that. All right, let's farm these sentries. All right, two slot items are very annoying to manage. I gotta drop this on the ground, pull my backup module and sensors into my inventory, and then I can equip that. I'm gonna fight these guys with EM, so because I, I really want their treads. More coverage out of these two. Both the same. Informer. Yep, cool. There he is. This guy actually might alert the other sentry if he's close enough. Cool. Uh, two pairs of light treads. Um, they also have flat guns, light armor plating. Right, those are an immediate upgrade. If I could swing it, I'm going to leave this hacking suite on. It's going to be a little bit useful, an extension, I think. Um, I would have normally put that weapon shielding on to protect our EM. Looks like we did fine anyways. Don't need the armor. I don't want the flat gun. Um, Stitch's leg. Carry those treads. I swap. God, is it? Huh? I'm going to see where that other sentry was because I don't remember. This was on for a second. He's over there. So let's go walk over there. Quick. Um, probably a little risky because I don't have my sensors on. We don't run into anything else in the way. Oh, the arm leg. My favorite leg. This is an arm. Just kidding. It's armored leg. Um, but one of the, the best item names in the game. Proton cannon. Another EM weapon. Oh yeah, proton cannons are good. They're um they're almost as good as a herf cannon, which is an insane weapon. All right, I think we're gonna be good with EM. Uh, I'm feeling more comfortable now. I'm gonna ditch the heavy particle cannon because we're not gonna be fighting programmers for a while. And even if we do, I mean programmers are weak to kinetic weapons as well. Something about thermal cannons um, always works really well against them though. Scanalyzer? I mean, do we want to scanalyze anything? Any of these weapons do we care about? Weapon shielding could be cool. It can break anything that we put in there. I'm not going to bother. We'll go ahead and 
double check with sensors, just make sure no one else uh, showed up. All right, let's go fight this guy. We'll check the couple of rooms around here and then we will get out of here, I think. Cool. A nice pair of treads there. Let's have 10 integrity left. Replace my light instead of these beat up um, improved because they're technically better, but now we consider the coverage. Improved heat shielding, electro laser. Basically gonna leave now. Could have held on to those treads. Another improved heavy armor plating, lots of that stuff around, huh? Speaking of uh yeah, stuff is all over the damn place. I don't even think it's worth the turns to go up there just to get 34 integrity. Oh snap! Random ARC. He may have just shot. Do this. I don't want this to blow up. As I was saying, I think he hit it when I was in the doorway. Um, the, their Gauss rifles are uh, penetrating. How much damage did we take from that? We are slightly at, or uh, right away again at high <laughs> risk for our prop here. Maybe we'll go back to, to legs. Luckily it's just one guy in the ARC. Um, but yeah, they are weak to EM, so we had the right kit for them. He didn't drop his legs. I wonder if I should grab the armored leg. I want that Gauss rifle. It's not gonna matter. Take it over that. Grab the arm leg. We don't have. We just have like a bunch of beat up treads and no act like real backup prop, which is scary. I turn one of these off. We're still moving at 180 with only three light treads. I'm actually gonna rip that off. Put on these light treads. Grab the arm leg. Actually, I'm just gonna throw the arm leg on deactivated as as an armor source that that can take some hits instead of our other treads because well we're actually losing a benefit we'll leave the light treads on we're losing the the recoil and volley accuracy bonus by by taking those off but we don't need it for support right now tempted to go in here let's take a peek oh it's all like Destabilized um, cave walls. Um, we can get caved in on there. Hmm. I know there's a room or something here because of that. Prototype launcher. Two slots. What the heck could that be? Hmm. That is a good question. What am I what am I not thinking of that's a two slot launcher? This is dangerous, but I'm throwing this thing on. That's why it's dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, guided EMP blaster. That would have been so nice too. Okay, though, we have the other prototype launcher. This is why I just did that because we're, we're doing this let's play and I just want to like mess around and have fun. Um, that could have fried our, um, actually I don't even have my sensors on. That's actually kind of scary. I forgot I had those off still and we're just kind of like wandering around. No wonder we didn't see that ARC. 
Um, the other reason I was considering just leaving instead of coming around here and exploring more was because of the programmers. Not ter terribly concerned about them though. Um, so let's see. We need to prepare for the programmers. They could be coming right from this exit as well. I ditched my thermal cannon, so we're going to be fighting them with our kinetics right here. So yeah, we are just down to three treads now, which is a game. This can be repaired at a repair station. Hardly even worth it. Can't repair the faulty prototypes though. Otherwise, I'd probably carry that around. Oh, there you are. Yeah, he came here fast. He came right from that. Right. Drop our armor. Let's get our sensors back on. Oh my god. Okay. I'm glad I threw those on because I was going to check out this terminal. This behemoth is quite likely um, able to see that. Let's go ahead and leave that on. Um, what do we want to throw in in this slot for now? Oh, I have one more corruption, so the system back backup module it is. Oh, he's in a room. Oh my god, there's another guided EMP blaster. So now we have to actually consider picking that up. Oops, we want to compare that to the improved proton. You know, I'm going to stick with the improved Proton. Am I? We can do some tricks with this. I'm just going to use the improved Proton, though. The big advantage of that is that it's guided. We're not going to make a ton of use of the guided, I don't think. Um, Let's see. I think we should just try and purge our alert. Wow, that worked. Get one more time. Oh my god. I'm gonna push my luck. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Welcome to Extension. Look at this fancy blue machine and these shiny, well, I guess not that shiny, but some yellow walls. Good stuff. Um, but we're going to call it here, and we're going to adventure through extension next time. So I'll see you guys there.